Some would argue that emotional manipulation is not a bad thing, and in fact that writing is meant to manipulate your emotions, to make you feel what the writer wants you to feel in order to be invested in the story. I disagree with this. Writing should be emotionally evocative, not manipulative, and the difference is distinct, if not obvious. Emotional manipulation is the act of forcing an emotion where it otherwise doesn't belong, by using cheap tactics to distract from this contrast, whereas naturally invoking an emotion is achieved by complementing the full context with an appropriate emotional tone. It is the difference between honesty and trickery, and artists are not deserving of praise for manipulating their audience's reactions any more than a liar is for tricking you into believing their dishonesty. For example, the ending to WandaVision is a blatant example of emotional manipulation. It paints Wanda as though she were the biggest victim of them all, showing how she had to give up the last remnant she had at a life with Vision and a family she never had. They'll never know what you sacrificed for them. But all the sad music, acting, and tone of the scenes is meant to distract you from the fact that what she fought so hard to hold on to, what she sacrificed, was her enslavement of an entire town violating their physical and mental autonomy by forcibly subjecting them to her will, all so that she could selfishly live out her own fantasies. You've taken an entire town hostage! Which she was completely cognizant of. Well, I'm not the one with the guns, director. And did nothing about it, while actively trying to excuse the things she did to them. I'm exhausted. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're all... you're all going to be fine. I've kept you safe in here. You feel... You feel at peace. No. Your grief is poisoning us. No, stop. Please, let us go. I'm not the one with the guns, 